everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm ready to finish up the electrical wiring for this trench that I've been working on for the past couple days. It actually has been a couple days since I've worked on this. I've been busy doing some other things. I was helping a friend of mine uh, put together a big firewood shed for their place. Yeah, everybody's getting ready for the storm that's coming, and today my part of that is trying to fi uh, finish this part up. So, this is the positive and negative lead that head down into the root cellar. Now I'm about to snip some of these so that they'll fit inside of this little uh, box here. This isn't actually really an electrical box. I guess I, I use them as it, and I, I don't know if they technically can or should be used as them. What these are for is when you're pulling a wire through like half inch conduit and you want to do a bend, uh, sometimes it's, it's easier if you can kind of like have, get it to a certain point, pull it all through and then send it through again. So there's a back panel you can pull off on these. If you have too many like bends in it, that's the way that they do it. But I like to use them as uh, little makeshift outdoor uh, electrical boxes. Uh, I haven't had any problem with that. I don't know whether that's code or not, but um, you know they seem to work pretty well for me. So my first step here is I'm going to uh, just glue with PVC cement onto the top of this. We had a little bit of rain, so I wanted to make sure I kept all this nice and dry. So far, so good on that. I'm going to put the cement just on the male side here. I don't want to be getting it inside there. And be a little bit sloppy with it, no big deal. This goes on, and then I'm going to do a quarter turn, kind of like that, I think. So that'll have my wires kind of coming out this way. Uh, and then I'll do it like that. That's nah, not too late. 180 degrees, we'll do it over there. I'm not sure whether that's smart or not, but I did it anyway. Um, okay, so uh, next step is to trim these wires because obviously I can't bundle all these guys up inside there. Um, one of them is uh, positive, like I said, one of them is negative. Um, this is 10 gauge wire and it's running, I don't know, 25 feet in there and it's going to be carrying um, whew, uh, 24 volts. Um, it seems to carry pretty well. I didn't actually do the math on it, it just, uh, I tend to have good results with uh, that amount of power. It always kills me when I'm cutting wires because you, you can't uncut them. So uh, I want to kind of keep a little bit of length on these, but still, but also these are this 10 gauge wire, so you can't, you can't fit too much in there. I think this is the, the maximum amount I can keep in here. So I'm going to clip this one, and you'll notice one of these, not this one, this one has a little bit of red tape on the end. And I want to transfer that tape because that is identifying which one is which. Now it doesn't really matter what color you use, I just use uh, red and the other one's black because those are kind of the conventional colors for, uh, uh, you know, DC power running through things. But uh, what the important thing is that I put a piece of red tape at, the, at both ends of this line so inside I can tell which one's which. I could figure it out with a, a multimeter if I needed to, but uh, it's nice to not have to. So. I intentionally clipped one first, so I wouldn't get confused, like pull the tape off and then I like trip and then I don't know which, <laughs> which wire it came from. So that's why I clipped one first before I did this. And now I've uh, moved my mark, so now I'm cleared to clip here, and I should be all, all good. There we go. Still kills me to clip wire. Alright, this thing is good for uh, stripping to like 10 gauge. So I'm going to do that. Anyway, I mean, that, 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 that's not all that exciting. But what's going to happen with these is uh, I'm going to be doing the, uh, the union or the uh, running in, in series that's going to happen with these panels inside this box. Because you can daisy chain all these panels uh, together uh, that you want to. And uh, they're always running in, um, I think I got some of that on my, some of the glue on my hands. They're always running in parallel. So you can go one to the next, the next, the next. And where that would normally uh, give you a... Uh, you know, you'd be adding together the voltages, you did them together. With these panels, it runs them automatically in parallel, so it stays 12 volts the whole way. But I want to run it in 24 volts. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking uh, two chains of, of uh, kind of divide them up into two groups, and then I'm going to be taking the two groups together, and this is a little electrical schematic right here, <laughs> where I'm taking uh, the two ends, and instead of running them in like that, I'm going to touch two together, that'll make it 24 volts, and then these guys go in. I don't know if that describes it. So that's the plan for today. Uh, I should be able to finish that up pretty easily and then move all the panels back over here and that'll open up all the grassy area so the panels aren't all mucking up that, making it look awful.